Namaste. In this video, we are going to learn how to do a non-linear simulation in SolidWorks. So here, basically, I made three parts. Let's see the drawing of each part. The first part, I called it vendor. You can call it or uh, write name as per your requirement. Here, you can see the dimensions, so you can make for yourself. Remember the main thing here in triangle is th is this the triangle only. The triangle total length is 200 mm and the distance from the center is 100 mm and the depth of the triangle is 55 mm. Make sure this point is at the center of this line. It doesn't matter what is the height of this, uh, you can make as per your requirement. All you need to make sure is that the length of this is remain same and there is a fillet of 10 mm at the end is here as you can see it's curved so i just use a fillet command here now let's move to the second part the second part is basically is just a line of 300 mm diameter and extruded to length of 50 mm as you can see and not less but last part is here you can see its dimension it its total length is uh, its total length is let's see 300 mm and the cut is 200 mm its total cut length is 200 mm and again the depth is 55 mm with the fillet of radius 10 mm. I show you this drawing so you can make for yourself and do the simulation on your own. Okay, after that I made this assembly. As you can see it's properly assembled and it is totally uh, uh, coincident with the planes of the surface. Now after that press ctrl plus 8. Now go to Solid SolidWorks add-ins click on SOLIDWORKS SIMULATION after that wait a minute and you will see that a tab appears of so simulation click on simulation after that click on study advisory below the arrow click on new study now move down the cursor select loan linear after that make sure you select static and use 2D simplification a question that will arise in your mind that why I am using 2D simplification. If I do in 3D, what it will wanna do, it will gonna take a lot of time. If I use this 2D, it will reduce the time because it's just 2D geometry and it will show me good result and in a less time. So make sure you set 2D simplification. Click OK. After that, it uh, it is asking me select the plane in which you want. Uh, as you can see it says selection of plane so basically a question as your mind what is mean by section of plane and depth so here i am choosing the front plane why a front plane why not right plane why not top plane i am choosing the front plane because at, with respect to front plane there is a total symmetry of my drawing if i choose the top plane there is no symmetry let me show you Okay, for example I, top, I choose the top plane as you can see at top plane there is no symmetry but if I click on the front plane as you can see there is symmetry on both sides but in case of top plane there is no symmetry on both sides if I click on right plane there is symmetry on both sides but if I use this plane as you can see I can't fix uh, it, it becomes a cantilever problem and you will not gonna like it for example here I click click on it let the 20 mm now click on it as you can see it is not the problem we are going to do so because of that make sure you always click on uh, make sure you click on the front plane now press press control press that or go to new study now go downward select non-linear use 2d simplification click ok now select the front plane I hope you now understand why I am choosing the front plane. If I choose any other plane, then my there is no symmetry in the drawing and it will totally waste it. Now enter the section of depth 50 mm. A question will arise in your mind, why the section of depth is 50 mm? 
because the total width is 50 mm and this symmetry of 50 mm if i type the value of 20 mm when i do the simulation and want to see the result in 3d i can't able to see the result in 3d properly because i select the width of 20 mm but in reality the total width is 50 mm so make sure you enter the value of width as same as the assembly or the components so here i am typing the 50 mm because my extrude is 50 mm click ok after that you can see my 2d geometry now what we need to do is apply material click uh, press control click on bender and die right click on it click on apply favorite material select the material as per your requirement for example i select malleable cast iron you can choose any other material as per your requirement and play die as a 1060 alloy remember always select the plate material something that uh, that can bend for example if i select the plate die material cast iron we know that cast and iron doesn't bend they just crack and destroy you destroy themselves so make sure you select a material in such a way that it can bend under the load or a tensile material always select tensile material in case of uh, plate die now delete this component set click delete now right click on collections click on contact set make sure you type select no penetration if i don't click on no penetration what will happen it will uh, penetrate the body in my case i am just doing deformation test not penetrating anything or removing material i am just what i just want is deform like plate uh, bending or sheet bending etc this is what i am doing here so first thing it asks select the face, face so select the bottom of the plate now select the bottom of the uh, top of the die make sure you select all edges here you see that i select in in one a bot, uh, the bottom of the plate in another I select the die top. The reason is that because I am creating a set so that my software know where there is no penetration. Okay, uh, so my so uh, when I do simulation, SolidWorks now now know that there is no penetration in these bodies. Make sure you click on friction. Without friction, uh, your si simulation is not going up to the mark, and and you know whenever you do deforming friction play an important role without friction you can't deform anything and make sure uh, select the advanced surface to surface because uh, the contact is surface to surface when our deformation is going to happen so that there will be no penetration click ok now right click on it click on contact set now this time we are going to contact set uh, between the plate and the die that is going to bend it Make sure you click all all the uh, all the edges. Click on friction. You can change the friction value as per your requirement. Click on advance. Make sure it uh, it is surface to surface. Click OK. After that, what I need to do is uh, go to fixture advisory. Click on fix geometry. Select the stop face. As you can see, arrow showing upward direction but i want that it moves downward so go to advance click on this arrow as you can see arrow is uh, showing upward so make sure you click reverse direction and enter the value of 80 mm as you can see the arrow is pointing downward so this is basically what i want so what it will happen uh, what it will gonna do that when i do the simulation it will move the move this part to 90 uh, 90 mm remember i maintain a distance of 100 mm while doing assembly so you need to do that and here select angle plane direction make sure it is zero so a question arises in mind uh, what does this do so by, for example when this body falls i don't want that it moves uh, in x direction uh, in, in the other of these direction so when i type the value zero it will only just can go move downwards because I click the direction 90 so it can't go upward it just only go downward not, uh, not in x directions okay as you can see it is x axis 
and I click on X axis 0 and Y axis I just click on reverse direction so it goes 90 mm downwards okay click ok now here uh, go to fixed geometry click on fixed geometry now select the bottom of the die click on fixed geometry I think uh, just remember one thing it doesn't matter what you do while assembling fixed anything or not while doing simulation you need to redefine what is fixed or what is not if you don't your simulation is not gonna work properly again click on fixed geometry select this side of the plate so that when the plate gonna bend these edges don't move click ok after that just click on run this study or you can click on right click apply mesh or you can create the um, meshing as per your requirement here i just simply want to show you how to do simulation i am not going to details just ignore this here you can see the live preview that it going downwards here it shows now bending here as you can see it's, uh, it's bent now somebody say hey I want to see the result in 3d so what you need to do is just right click on it click on show as 3d plot here you can see in 3d remember when I told you uh, select the width of 50 mm and, and told you the what's the funda of, of doing all this so here you can see uh, now you understand what's the reason of all doing this so now let's click on plot tools click on probe so for example I want to know what is the stress at this point so here you can see at the node 2585 the stress value is this at a certain location here you can get the sum values average maximum minimum root mean square value uh, the root mean square value basically means uh, it is a statical method to find the best value so it is a, a much better value you can also plot the graph for example click on the plot graph here I just click on one point for example select multiple points now go to pro here you can see the stress is maximum and the here stress is maximum that is the first point after that i go out outwards and i select accidentally top of the total little top of the plane because of that shows the graph i hope this video helps you uh, and you can do more 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 thing for example displacement show and you can just click on animate so that you know what's the better result uh, or you can increase the uh, as you can see it, it gives you a clear picture and strain if you want to make a report just click on report So what we're gonna do? It will create a report for you. Uh, all you just need to do is uh, write the name of all these things and logo, whatever you want, and it will create a fully published report for you. Uh, you you want to do? So create cancel because, or you can just click on publish. So what will we gonna do? It will gonna open the MS Word and create a full report for you. It will gonna take a time. So. As you can see now it starts so while doing reporting let me tell you what what kind of things it will gonna show uh, it will gonna show what are the bonding conditions we applied and what are the loads what are the maximum stats what are the average stats uh, 
and many other things if you want to insert a particular pictures that you want to show hey i want to do this thing you can also do that what you need to do is uh, while doing simulation use uh, well when you uh, while you see when i click on publish report you see there is a button uh, well uh, button called add pictures so you can click on that and add the particular pictures of the simulation images so it will help to your customer or your research work so what you want to basically show it show uh, want to show here yeah, it's currently making generating a document for me Here you see uh, what are we doing in background basically writing that thing now it will show me here you can see my story of simulation close it now tell me the properties of the material that i applied and the aisle strength etc position issue everything you need to show your customer or you need to show in uh, service here is showing the mesh quality just remember higher the mesh quality higher the uh, better is the result here is the simulation results here is the uh, in strain here is basically displacement and here is basically engineering strength engineering strain ESTRM means engineering strain equivalent strain okay equivalent strain also and conclusion you can type conclusion whatever you observe from it i hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you comment and please give me your valuable feedback what do you like and what you don't like in this video i hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you comment thanks for watching please subscribe and have a great day namaste